hey guys it's your girl Vanessa here welcome back to another video I do apologize about my voice guys I'm down with a cold but I'm otherwise fine um, so today's video is basically about how I dyed my hair um, I finally finally tried henna so in today's video I will be showing you basically how I tried it for the first time and what my thoughts are so I suggest that you keep on watching so we're gonna start first of all by making the henna so I bought this from Amazon they came in a pack of two with henna and indigo so I'm using about a tablespoon of henna just to dye the front of my hair now I actually happen to have made a lot because I didn't actually need all of it now I'm using coffee here to mix the henna but apparently you can also use um, lemon juice or apple cider vinegar um, so let me know if you've tried henna before and what you've used to dye sort of to mix the henna with but black coffee just work fine really I just uh, use instant coffee and that's pretty much it so I'm just popping that in and just stirring until I get like a a nice kind of thick consistency so not too thick I'll show you guys the consistency in a bit now I decided to add one of my DIY oils because I just didn't know whether this was going to be drying on my hair so I just thought I would add um, some oil to this just to help with moisture and also um, not making like the end sort of the my edges kind of rough because I don't know I wasn't sure how this was going to react so I just thought I'll add this and it worked absolutely fine so you're supposed to let this sit for about three hours or overnight before you apply so in this part of the video guys I'm showing you how I'm applying it so after it sat around for a little bit you can see the color is a bit different so it has got slightly darker in color so I decided to transfer a little bit of that into this container so I could use it um, to dye my hair and the rest I popped in the freezer so that next time I want to use this I won't have to make it again. I don't know whether it's going to work because it's frozen but I'll try and let you guys know if it works or if you tried this before let me know if it worked. So essentially these are what my greys look like. You can see I've got so much greys like it's crazy. Now I'm going to dye just the front of my hair guys. Um, I'm not going to do like the rest of my hair although I do have some greys um, inside my hair as well but I'm not too bothered by those so I'll probably just leave it alone. Um, so I'm just sort of focusing just on the front of my hair. Now if you're using henna I would suggest that you use gloves um, just because I found that it did stain. So first of all when I was stirring it some of it actually happened to touch my finger and it just stained my 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 hand essentially so it's better if you use some pair of gloves um just to prevent that so i'm just working this on my on my edges now you are supposed to apply henna on clean hair so what i've done i went and i shampooed just the front part of my hair just so i could get rid of all the oils and dirt and all of that before actually going in with the henna now i do not want to shampoo my whole hair because it's not a wash day for me I just wanted to just get rid of the of the grace um, so yeah so at this point guys I have finished applying the henna and this is what it looks like now I must say it felt really good working this through my hair it was very nice and smooth i don't know if it's because i mixed it with some oil but it felt really nice on the hair and i really really loved it um so i'm just gonna tie my hair and pop it in this um, put a plastic bag on just for heat it's just also to allow it to um, do its job really so i left it for about three hours again you can leave this overnight guys so this is what it looks like three hours later Again, you can see that the um, henna has sort of slightly intensified in color, I think. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and rinse this off with just warm water. Now, it suggests that you don't you don't shampoo your hair, guys, because the henna is still oxidizing on the hair. That's from my research. Um, so this is what it looks like after I rinsed it off, guys. And I must say, I love this color. Like literally when I saw this I was like oh god I should have just done my whole hair and probably just left it this color 
because I actually do love the blonde sort of not blonde it's ginger isn't it like that gingery color that you get after using the henna so I'm gonna go ahead now and make the indigo so I'm using the indigo powder like I said guys these two came together I'll see if I can find a link for you guys in case you want to get it let me know in the comment section down below so again I made too much than I needed and again I just had to store it so for this you're supposed to mix with just warm water although there are some that suggest that you just need to add a bit of salt um, so I must say that initially I just mixed it with warm water like this and it, the, the dye didn't really take up really well um, I'll show you guys later um, in a little in a few minutes essentially so I felt like it didn't really take up the, the, um, the my hair didn't take up the dye really well um, after I just mixed it with this essentially so I applied it to my hair I think I left it for like four to five hours and then when I rinsed it off it wasn't quite as dark as I wanted it to be essentially so there are other people that suggest that you do add a bit of salt because it just helps with um you know your hair actually taking the darker color quicker so um I'll show you guys anyways as the video goes now I must say I absolutely love this color I think one day I will probably just use henna on my hair without the indigo just so I can have this color guys I don't know what do you think I think it looks really nice um, so again I'm using my gloves here guys um, to work this on my hair now I don't think this actually stains um, yeah I, I don't think it stains so you can use your hands if you want to um, I mean without the gloves but it's better to use gloves to be honest because if you've got nails it can get stuck in it um, so essentially it's just the same thing and I'm just working it through my edges again um, just making sure that I cover every strand of hair um, with this indigo So this is what it looks like after I finish applying it guys this is my first application I also think that I made the indigo a bit lighter in uh, consistency so I don't know if that's also why it didn't quite um, darken my hair as much as I wanted it um, but anyways this is what it looked like the first time that I done it now I let this sit in my hair for about four hours if I'm not mistaken and I went ahead and rinsed it with just warm water and this is my results after the first application to be honest it's not bad uh, but you can still see I do have some strands that are still ginger and I was looking for like a nice dark color um, so yeah I wasn't quite happy with this and I just decided to make the indigo again and this time add a bit of salt and also not make it quite as light as I did before and I applied it again and this is what I have now at this point guys I was really tired it was late at night and I just didn't want to have to wait around again so I went to sleep with this on my hair and this is what it looks like in the morning now the one thing I would say about this process is that it can be a bit lengthy um, but I love 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 the results like thank you so much guys for those of you who actually suggested this I really really appreciate it so this is what my hair looks like in the morning um, you can see the indigo has dried on my hair and also it's got darker you can tell that my hair is definitely darker as well but there's still some bits that are looking sort of you know gingery kind of color um, but that's fine anyway so I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this off again with just warm water and conditioner so this is what it looks like guys after rinsing it you can see on my face that it worked this time right I was literally like so happy literally like my hair is looking really nice like it really took up the dye although I still have some bits that are you know not quite as dark as I would have liked it to be but I'm satisfied with this result to be honest and my hair didn't feel hard at all was very nice and soft and yeah I just I just loved it really I don't know why I haven't tried this you know in such a long time um, but yeah it's absolutely great and it works and it's something that I will definitely try again 
so this is it from me today guys i do hope that you've enjoyed watching the video and if you did please please give me a thumbs up also guys please leave me in the comment section down below if you think maybe there is something that i should have done to get a better result um and also let me know what you think really are you going to try this if you've never done it before uh, but yeah, it really works. Thank you so much if you're one of those that suggested it. And uh, yeah, this is it for me guys. I will catch you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. See you then. Bye.